Tora Gozina. Brigadier General Bolar Gonbo. Ms. Doris Rios. Ms. Alba Rueda. Dr. Zakira Hekmat. Miyaza Mohamed. Mrs. Bianca Zalewska. Mrs. Yulia Payevska. And representative keynote speaker for the 2023 International Women of Courage Award, Senator Raz Adiba Radzi. Distinguished guests, please welcome today's presenters. U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, Linda Thomas-Greenfield. White House Press Secretary, Karine Jean-Pierre. Deputy Secretary of Defense, Kathleen Hicks. Under Secretary for Civilian Security, Democracy, and Human Rights at the U.S. Department of Nations, Uzra Linda Thomas-Greenfield. An acting ambassador at White House Press for Secretary Corrine the US Jean Pierre, State, Kat Fotovat, Deputy Secretary of Defense Kathleen Hicks, Under Secretary for Civilian Security, Democracy, and Human Rights at the U.S. Department of State, Azra Zaya, An acting ambassador at large for global women's issues at the U.S. Department of State, Kat Fotovat. Distinguished guests, please welcome the First Lady of the United States, Dr. Jill Biden, accompanied by U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken. Distinguished guests, please welcome the First Lady of the United States, Dr. Jill Biden accompanied by U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken. Good afternoon, everyone. Please take a seat. And it is a special honor for me to be able to say, welcome to the White House. And welcome especially to the 2023 International Women of Courage Award Ceremony. Good afternoon, everyone. Participating Please, take here a seat. in person uh, and tuning in and from around the world. It is a special for honor 17 for me years to be able now. To say, U.S. Secretary of State have recognized International Women of Courage for leading the charge for progress around the world. And this year, welcome especially for the first time, to the 20, we honor the awardees International here Women of Courage at the White Award House. Ceremony to all of you and participating. That really is a reflection. Person. Of and just how highly around the world. President Biden, for 17 years now, First Lady, U.S. And administration recognized and prioritized gender equality for leading the rights. charge for progress around the world. Uh, Dr. This Biden, year, thank you for the first for time bringing us here today. We honor the awardees uh, here. Thank you more than that White House. for everything that you're doing every and single day. That really is to be a such a remarkable role model to so many women around the world. President Biden, and for your incredibly First Lady, tireless Biden administration. Efforts. Thank to lift up the voices quality of brave women and human rights everywhere around the world. Thank you. Dr. Biden, thank you for being here today. Uh, but 
Thank you very much. So we're joined today by ambassadors from across the globe who are essential partners in all of our efforts to make sure that women and girls can reach their full potential. We have senior leaders from across the United States government here, Ambassador Linda Thomas-Greenfield, our champion, our voice of the United Nations. Treasury Secretary of Defense, Kath Hicks, Under Secretary of State, Jose, our advocate. We're joined today by ambassadors from Klein, across Kat the globe, Fodovat, who are leaders of our global of our efforts gender sure policy. Women and girls can reach. Uh, and of course, White House Press Secretary, we have seen Jean Pierre, across the United also States government here. such a powerful voice for our country our champion, uh, and for this administration voice, around the world. The Nations. And I also want to point out our team from the Bureau for Educational and Cultural Affairs. We're working with so many of you every single day in the work that you're doing. We're also joined by members of the State Department's locally employed staff. They're literally the lifeblood of our missions in every country in the world. Uh, to be here today, uh, some of them have traveled from more than a dozen countries and I also in Asia, want to point out Africa, Europe, from the Bureau South America, and the Middle East. Affairs. It's wonderful to be with you today. So well. Thank you. Uh, we're also joined by members of the State Department's local and state staff. Uh, and in the audience, the of our we have several previous winners in the world. of the International Women's Recurve Day some of them who are continuing their inspiring work. And the First Lady and I had an Asia, opportunity Africa, to Europe, uh, greet them, America, uh, to be able to say in person wonderful. what we were not able to do thank you. the last couple of years, which is congratulations and thank you for the incredible work that you're doing. And in the audience, we have several previous winners. And of course, award, last but not least, work. And our guest of honor, an opportunity this year's uh, International to be Women to say in of person Courage. What we were Welcome not able to do the last couple of years, which is congratulations and thank you for the incredible work that you're doing. When Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice launched this initiative in 2007, and of course, she did so least, to honor women our creating honor, brighter futures this year's for themselves. Women for their Perfect. communities, Welcome to all of and for generations to come. Since then, this award has recognized more than 180 women from over 80 countries around the world. When Secretary and that State includes Condoleezza this year's Rice honorees, launched this initiative 11 in truly 2007. extraordinary people. She did so um, to honor as women here, creating brighter These women are reporting on Russian atrocities in Ukraine. For their They're fighting for equal opportunities for, for women and girls in Mongolia. Come. They're defending Since democracy then, in the Central African Republic. More than They're protecting indigenous land in Costa Rica. They're advocating for the rights of refugees, honorees, people with disabilities, the LGBTQI plus community. Um, because of their work, hear, these women are and even on Russian atrocities in Ukraine, uh, as they do it every fighting, single day, equal opportunities for women uh, they are faced with extraordinary challenges that, in the Central African as you Republic. learn about them, read about them, protecting indigenous land in Costa Rica. Uh, they're advocating they, for the rights of refugees. Their loved ones, in many People cases, with disabilities, the LGBTQI have endured harassment. They've endured violence. Their work. Some have been in prison. And even others have been subject of misinformation they do every day. and online attacks. They are day in, with day out. Extraordinary challenges that, and yet, as you each learn about and every one about them, has refused to be intimidated. Uh, they, in every region, there are other women doing cases, this work. Who we can't name individually. Uh, in They've some cases, violence. because the attention would put them at even greater prison. risk. Others so we found a new way to honor them. Uh, this year, we're launching a group attacks. award named they after a pioneer and champion of equality, the and great yet, Secretary of State, Madeleine Albright. Has we have to be in every region, there are other women doing this work who we can't name individually. We have um, several members of the Albright family so we found uh, here today to help us celebrate. Year, we're launching I like to think I'm an extended member of that pioneer. family. Um, for me, as, Secretary of State, as I've told um, our friends, we have, uh, I hear Madeleine Albright's voice in my head on a regular basis. The clarity with which she spoke and what she have, said um, continues to resonate several and continues to inspire me in the work. Uh, here that I and my team are doing. But you're, like you honor us with your presence today. Member Thank you for that family. Um, Around the world, me, uh, women told, in all of their diversity uh, friends, uh, are often the ones on the front lines of change. On and yet at the same time, clarity. they face still greater spoke. obstacles to their political she participation. She said, they experience gender-based violence and human rights abuses. They hold less economic and social power. You honor us with your presence We are committed to changing that. Around Defending the, world, the rights of women and girls uh, is rooted in all of their in our democratic values of human rights and fundamental freedoms for all. Lines of change. And, and yet when we advance time, equality and defend the rights of women, greater obstacles we improve life for everyone. They experience gender -based when violence, peace is forged with the participation and the leadership of women, less economic it's more likely to last. We know we this from experience. 
Closing the, the gender gap girls is rooted in the global workforce in our democratic would add $28 trillion dollars to the global economy. And, when we and as Secretary Albright once said, the rights of women, we simply we cannot build the future for that we want without the contribution participation of women. Leadership of women. That's why President Biden has made gender equality and this. women's rights a priority of our foreign policy. Closing the gender gap. Uh, in the global as some of you know, we recently launched the first ever cross-government strategy on women's global economy. economic security. And Secretary Albright to try to help reduce the enduring wage gap, we simply cannot to improve access we want to well-paying jobs, without to dismantle barriers to women's economic participation. That's why President Biden has in December, made gender equality. The United States, States also updated our strategy to prevent and respond policy. to gender-based violence globally. Uh, including new efforts to expand access to programs for historically marginalized communities. We're also learning from the enduring wage and teaming up with to improve access governments, to well jobs, civil society, to the private sector and other countries to work toward gender equality in together, December, the including, States of course, the women that we're honoring today. To to One of those women, Hadil Abdelaziz, noted that for when it comes to advancing this struggle, success is learning from not about one big act. And teaming up with not about one big act of heroism, civil society, but the private 100 sector countries small battles. To work toward gender equality together. To honorees, including of the United the States is proud today. to be by your side one of those as you and others wage those 100 small battles. Noted day in, when it comes day to out, this struggle, and we will be there and be there with you about one for the long haul. That includes, of course, of heroism, the First Lady of the United States, Dr. Jill Biden. Small the First Lady. <laughs> to honorees, the United States is proud to be by your side. Thank you. As you and others wage for some of this And thank you, Secretary in, Blinken. Tony, out, when Joe selected you to be Secretary of State, he knew that, that we had course, much to do abroad. Lady of the United States, from putting diplomacy at the center of foreign First policy lady. to rebuilding our global partnerships. And with every challenge we faced, you have and ensured you, that we're Blinken, better able Tony, to deliver for the American people because we have our allies State, by our side. He knew that we had Your much integrity and statesmanship diplomacy have helped us rally countries to, to stand with Ukraine against partners. Russia's war of aggression, every strengthen our ability face, to respond to future health emergencies, that we're and confront able the climate crisis. The American people thank you for all that you do. Your integrity and statesmanship have helped us rally. As the Secretary said, we are joined by leaders from Russia's around our country and across the globe. Strengthen our ability to so to all of the members of the diplomatic corps here, thank you crisis. for joining us today. Thank you for all that you And uh, as the Secretary said, the family of the incomparable Secretary Albright is with us. And I'm As going to ask you said, to stand. We are joined by leaders from around our country and across the globe. So to all of the members of the diplomatic corps here, thank you for joining us today. And uh, as the Secretary said, the family of the incomparable And they Secretary all came Albright to help us, us carry and on her legacy. And we have our Gender Policy Council, the first of its kind, and other leaders from across our administration. This audience is a testament to our national commitment to gender equality around the globe and, and they the all powerful to influence help us of the carry people on her we honor today. And we have our Women Gender Policy of Council, courage. the first of its kind, and other leaders from across our administration. This audience is a testament right here to in the East Wing. Commitment we will tell their stories of fearlessness, the globe, resilience, and, and hope. We will hear the from them in their own words. Today. And there are people Women outside of, of this courage. room who need to hear their stories too. The girls who will inherit this world. The future engineer right here who loves exploring, who sees tell magic in mechanics and technologies that connect us to each other, we will hear but is told in their there's no place words. for you in the classroom. And there are people outside of this the room future president or prime minister too. who is told the that her voice is too loud or too bossy or too feminine, the future whatever that means. Who loves exploring, the child who, who lives in fear, in mechanics and the star who is told to hide her light. 
but it's the told, girl who feels no the smallness the of the world closing the in, president afraid or prime that her dreams who are just her too, too big too loud or to too carry alone, too feminine, again, whatever that means, and again. And again, the child they wake up to fear, find a world made for someone else to hide and light. watch their brothers the and their fathers and their the uncles and their neighbors the rise and grow while they are told to shrink, that told that they're not good enough, not strong enough, not alone. worthy of the lives again that they dream and about. Again and again. But today, they we're here to, to tell girls everywhere the truth that and they need to hear. Yes, their and their uncles and their you neighbors matter. Rise and grow. Yes, they are you can make shrink. a difference. Told and that that's why we wanted enough, to bring the leaders enough, we're honoring today and the stories the that they that share they to about. the biggest stage but we today, could, we're here the White House. To tell girls everywhere the truth that they need to hear. Yes. You matter. Tony, yes, thank you, you for helping us do that. And that's why girls we wanted everywhere to bring the need to know that there are women and the fighting that they for them. Share and the winning, biggest stage opening we could, doors, transforming schools and communities and governments, building a better world for all of us. And we're also here to say to their brothers and their fathers and their husbands and their friends, girls everywhere, as much as we need women who are willing to speak up, for them, we need more men who are willing to listen and schools and communities and governments, building a better world for all of us. And we're also here to say to their brothers and their fathers, we need more men to hold each other accountable as when their sisters are being hurt are or left up. behind. We, we need, need more men more who men nurture men families, who, who feed and act. teach and mentor, who build safer communities. We need more men who know that caring, collaboration, and kindness we signs need of more strength, men to hold each not other accountable weakness. when their sisters men, are being hurt. We need you to support behind. the women we who are fighting for their rights and to lift up who those who have been silent, who build safer communities. We need more men who know that caring, collaboration, and be partners, are be signs partners of with women, not become weakness. the men of courage men, we need. We need you to support Only the women will we be able to build a world and to lift where men those and who have women been are equal and all people are free. So to all the women whom we are honoring today, be partners, know that the be um, partners enormous with women good become you've done the men of has courage no we end. need. It touches Only every then person who hears we your be story. Able to build a it world transforms us men with new and hope. women. Are equal as you seek justice, speak out, and free. pursue peace. So to you inspire all the others to find today, courage within ourselves and rise to that same call. Good and to every no little end. girl who has wondered, it touches every can person I, who hears your story. one person, it transforms one us voice, with new hope. one girl, as you seek justice, fix what's broken, and pursue peace. Let the you women that we celebrate to today be an answer to that question, to that an unequivocal and to every yes, little girl who has wondered, can I, one person, one voice. One girl. When you learn and explore, broken, when you raise your voice, let when you move that through the world with your today, shoulders back be and your head held to that high, question. And step by step, you shift yes. the ground beneath you. Draw strength from the women of courage who came before you. Share that strength with the sisterhood when you learn that surrounds you. When you raise and the ripples voice, of that when you power move the world will transform back our world. And, your head held and as high, you take those steps, step by step, as you grow you into the, the women you will be, you. remember, from the women of courage you are never you. Share alone. that strength with the Thank sisterhood you. that surrounds you and the ripples of that power will transform our world. Please welcome Under Secretary for Civilian steps, Security, Democracy, and Human Rights the at the U.S. Department of State, Azra Zaya. Remember, you are never alone. Thank you. It takes courage to seek justice when the powerful stand against you. 
Please Laws welcome can Under Secretary for Civilian Security, Democracy, and Human Rights at the U.S. And Department the of State, Azra a tool of tyranny, or when the structures in place simply fail to live up to the promise of equality, it takes fairness, and humanity. To justice. We appeal to a higher stand ideal. against you. Justice. Laws can protect the, the women we honor today have worked tirelessly to ensure that their nation's legal and systems protect all people, tool of no matter their gender, or the beliefs, place, or background. Fail to and when those systems the cannot equality, or will not protect every citizen, we appeal they to have fought ideal. to transform them. Justice. They've broken barriers, the women we risen to new heights, and inspired to other young women to follow their lead. Protect all people, because without women's no rights, gender, perspectives, and participation, there can be and no justice. Cannot, but when we will all not have the opportunity to shape our laws, they fought we to create systems them. that truly serve barriers, us all. Risen to new heights and inspired other young women to follow their lead. Because without women's rights, perspectives, and participation, there can be no justice. Et en femme, j'ai été effectivement la première présidente euh, de la Cour constitutionnelle en République centrafricaine. J'espère avoir justice. apporté ma marque et ma vision. J'ai essayé de faire de mon mieux. We started by one part-time lawyer, one legal aid, and we grew into a nationwide uh, network of legal Et clinics enfin, to ensure that everyone has the right to be protected by the law. Наш общественный фонд работает более 20 лет в Казахстане, и мы занимаемся продвижением прав и свобод человека в области политических прав и свобод. Наш общественный фонд работает более 20 лет в Казахстане, и мы занимаемся продвижением прав и свобод человека. And now, Dr. Biden and Secretary Blinken will present the awards. As the first woman to lead the Central African Republic's Constitutional Court, Danielle Darlan became known as the woman and now, of iron Dr. Biden for her refusal Secretary to be intimidated. She spent her career working to ensure the law delivers justice to all, no matter their background. And in the face of enormous pressure woman to, to allow the president the to rewrite African the Constitution to give himself court. an illegal third Danielle term, Darla she refused, sacrificing her career for her refusal to be intimidated. to safeguard the she rule of law. She spent her career working to ensure the law delivers justice. Please join me once more in congratulating in these incredible women. And displaces families, women and girls shoulder many of the consequences. Those who wish to harm and turn their violence on women and girls. Please welcome often Deputy so Secretary of Defense girls Kathleen serve as a society's Hicks. source of strength and a beacon of hope. It's because when women use their voices it to takes speak out against, against authoritarianism, when you are the target their of violence, leadership can create when lasting wars are waged, change. when authoritarians when women seek use their to consolidate power, to stand up for what's when right against overwhelming odds, and displaces families, their voices can reverberate women and around girls the world. Shoulder and when women the have a seat at the table, they hold the power those to lead their communities to harm toward and turn their violence on women and girls. And that's often do so because women and girls show serve that when as women a society source of peace strength and a beacon of hope. These talks are more likely it's to come because to a when just women use their voices to and speak out against authoritarianism, stability. their leadership peace is can possible create lasting when we support the women change. working to when make women it a use their voices to by stand up for what's right before they begin, overwhelming odds, by addressing the their voices can reverberate around the world. The and by working and when to women end have wars that have already table, begun, they and hold the power to lead their communities. So today, we salute several women leaders that's who are truth. exhibiting 
It should show courage. that when to women participate in when peace they themselves are the targets these talks of are more likely to come women to a who just are using their strength and result in lasting and stability in the face of peace is possible when we support the women women who are to make fighting it a reality dignity and freedom by stopping conflicts not just before they begin but for others by addressing the root in causes of east, discrimination we see and violence our capacity and by working to end wars that have already begun and mitigating their forces that try to so today we salute several we are reminded that are women exhibiting every extraordinary the decision courage to seek made. peace when they themselves are the targets of violence. Women who are using their strength to pursue gender equity and equality in the face of extreme cruelty and hate. The love, women who are fighting for dignity and freedom for not just themselves but for others. The in our awardees, work. we see that our capacity Persons for understanding of and healing have the right is stronger have than the forces the that try to tear to us live apart. Independently, and we are reminded that women belong everywhere the, the decisions are made. All of us have a right to a life without barriers, and it is our obligation as a community to ensure their full participation in society on the a local basis to respect with others. But my students gave me. Thanks my to my work in well-known morning show, I was able children. to collect a large amount of human Persons with disabilities or PWDs have the right to have good conditions in the workplace and I'm doing this to live today. independently, to equal opportunities, to participate fully in the life of the community. All of us have the right to live without barriers. And it is our obligation as a community to ensure their full participation in society on an equal basis with others. Thanks to my work in well-known morning show, I was able to collect a large amount of humanitarian aid, which I carried to the front line, and I'm doing this till today. On behalf of Dr. Biden, Secretary Blinken, I'm honored to present awards to the following women. In Mongolia, Brigadier General Bolar Gonbold is the first female staff officer in her country to be assigned to United Nations peacekeeping operations. And the first female general to serve in the Mongolian Armed Forces. Brigadier Ganbold has served in peacekeeping missions around the world, and she's advocated for gender equality in peacekeeping forces. On and behalf her of Dr. Biden, Secretary Blinken, women and girls can I'm honored to present awards during and after women. conflicts. In Mongolia, Brigadier General Bolar Gondol is the first female staff officer in her country to be assigned to United in Nations Costa Rica, peacekeeping operations. Doris Rios has dedicated her life to fighting for indigenous women's rights, to life and dignity, and, and the for first the female of general lands. to serve in the Mongolian Armed Forces. Brigadier Ganbold has served in, in the face of threats around of violence the world, and attacks against her, her and her family. She has created a seat and table for indigenous, indigenous women, women so that women and girls can be properly protected during and after conflicts. In Argentina, Alba Ruada is a transgender in woman Costa who Rica, was kicked out of classrooms. Doris Rios Bard has dedicated her life to fighting for indigenous women's rights, to, to life and dignity, and, and for the reclamation of indigenous lands. But in the face lands. of these challenges, she worked to end violence and discrimination against the LGBTQI+. In the face of threats of violence and attacks against her and her family, she has created a seat at the table for indigenous women to make the world more peaceful and just. After women were barred from schools in Afghanistan, Zakira Hockman, in Argentina, Alba Ruana is a transgender woman who was kicked out of classrooms, barred for sitting for exams, refused job opportunities, subjected to violence, and rejected by her family. But in the face of these challenges, she worked to end violence and discrimination against the LGBTQI plus community in Argentina. After women were barred from schools in Afghanistan, Zakira Hakmet secretly finished high school and won a scholarship to study in Turkey, eventually becoming a doctor. After seeing the difficulty refugees face, she Please founded the Afghan Refugee Press Solidarity Secretary Association Corrine to advocate for the rights of all refugees and women.
It takes courage it's my to speak privilege and honor to, uh, to, uh, to honor each of you for you your important co- important contributions to human in rights a world and where for making the world a more peaceful place. Congratulations to and thank you for your courage. One of the most powerful weapons that we have is the truth. Because corruption thrives in darkness. Dictators and authoritarians Please welcome seek to control White House Press Secretary and Corrine Jean-Pierre. They threaten journalists and those who speak out so they can control knowledge and hide their crimes. It takes courage to speak Selling when those in power want to stories stay, of peace and want success. you to stay silent. But when we illuminate in a world where lies shadows, and distortion are easy, we can expose sell. the damage. One they of the create. most powerful weapons lighting that we a path have forward for those is trapped the truth. in the dark. Because the corruption thrives and the strength and to rise, dictators and, and authoritarians change. seek to control criticism. This group of and journalists define the stories that we and tell. Correspondence. They Spread threaten truth, journalists courage, and those who speak and out, and empower other women so they and girls can control to use their voices and hide for democracy, their crimes. And just selling their people false stories of peace and success. But when we illuminate the shadows, we can expose the damage they create, lighting a path forward the for the those country, trapped how much in the dark women, uh, with the knowledge the and the strength to rise and demand but in the generally around the This group of journalists, uh, broadcasters, uh, and war correspondents spread truth, of the courage, women in our and empower other women and women girls to use their, their voices kind of for democracy, job, freedom, and justice. And the men. Yo creo que lo logro más importante, primero, creo que es la recuperación de nuestras tierras. Y a raíz de esas las recuperaciones de esas tierras, yo ya hablemos de seguridad alimentaria, de economía, de salud y acceso a nuestros recursos naturales. Estoy en la representación especial sobre orientación sexual e identidad de género en la Cancillería Argentina. Y este cargo es un compromiso para una política exterior transfeminista que ha crecido a la luz de políticas públicas a través de una agenda de activismo dentro del de Estado que permite primero, también desarrollar creo que eh, políticas la públicas de a partir de leyes de vanguardia que hay en, en, en la Argentina. De que hoy hablemos de seguridad alimentaria, de economía, de salud y acceso a nuestros recursos naturales. Estoy en la representación especial sobre orientación sexual e identidad de género en la Cancillería Argentina y este cargo es un compromiso para una política exterior transfeminista que ha crecido a la luz de políticas públicas a través de una agenda de activismo dentro del Estado que permite también desarrollar eh, políticas públicas a partir de leyes de vanguardia que hay en, en, en Argentina. Under one year, she continued to raise her voice, advocating for survivors of gender-based violence and urging accountability. And for once again, Dr. Biden and Secretary Blinken will be here. Through her While independent helping YouTube evacuate news channel, women Roja and TV, children from areas affected by war, journalist, Ukrainian military Mihaza veteran Mohammed Yula shares Payevka stories of those secretly who are often Russian forces despite committed atrocities during one year. The she continued to raise her voice advocating for survivors of gender-based violence and urging she accountability a memory for crimes to associated with the tampon and was forced to destroy another with her teeth before being captured by Russian forces and tortured for information. While since her release, she has continued to raise her voice from areas for her people by pushing for peace Ukrainian and military veteran Yula Payevska secretly documented Russian forces committed atrocities during the 2022 siege of Marathon. Now, as a broadcaster, journalist Raz Aviva Radzi became a household name. She smuggled a memory card to the Associated Press in the tampon and was forced to destroy another with her platform to advocate before being captured by Russian forces and disabilities. First, as a reporter, since her release, she has continued to raise her voice as a senator for her people pushing for peace and independence. And the first female chair of the National Malaysian News Agency, Bernard. Now, as a broadcaster, journalist Raz Adiba Radzi became a household name 
after a car accident and brutal assault, permanently paralyzed her from combating Russian She used her platform to advocate for the rights of persons with disabilities. First as a reporter and now last year in the face of as a senator in Malaysia's parliament and the first female chair of the National Malaysian News Agency, Bernal, and training other journalists to effectively counter misinformation. While Polish journalist Bianca Please join me in a round of applause was combating for Russian dis misinformation in 2014. Her car was shot, causing accident that broke her spine. Since the Russian invasion of Ukraine last year and in the face of intimidation and death threats, she continues her work documenting war crimes, lifting up stories of refugees, and training other journalists to effectively counter misinformation. Please join me in a round of applause for all of our awardees. Please welcome U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, Linda Thomas Greenfield. Hello, everyone. It really is a privilege to present this new award, one that honors our first female Secretary of State, the late Okay. Secretary Albright showed so many women, including myself, how to lead with moral clarity and with courage. Please welcome Her U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, Linda Thomas Greenfield. Equality and universal human rights. It is fitting that this Hello, everyone. recognizes it really not is just a one privilege woman, to present this new award, one that honors our first female Secretary movement. of State. It speaks the late to the outsized impact of Secretary, Secretary Albright showed so many women, in life including myself, how to lead with when moral the Albright family and with <clears throat> courage. Who is here with us Her today? Legacy learned about this award. And those still they asked that another trailblazing universal human one rights. who knew Secretary it Albright well fitting that this be part award of this ceremony. recognizes not just Secretary one woman, Condoleezza but the Rice. bravery the Secretary Rice created an in collaboration of, courage of a whole movement in 2007. It speaks to and though the she couldn't join us today. Impact. She of wanted Secretary to take part Albright's in this very example special and life ceremony. of service. I am humbled to be when able to join the you Albright today family, to honor an extraordinary group of <clears throat> women. here with us today, learned about Iran, this award. With the Madeline they asked Albright that another award. trailblazing leader, Since one who knew Secretary Albright well, be part in the of this custody ceremony. of Iran's so-called morality police. Condoleezza women in Rice. Iran led protests Secretary across Rice the country's 31 created the provinces International and sparked women months Award of grassroots in 2007. support for women's rights. And though she couldn't join us today, fitting, then, she wanted to take part in this and very is being special honored in the ceremony. name of my late friend, I am humbled Madeline to be Albright. able to join you today to Madeline honor an extraordinary group of women for human rights, the female protesters of Iran. Rights and for gender Madeline equality Albright around honorary the world. group award. She organized since the horrific death foreign of ministers, Amini, women while in the custody of Iran's to speak out morality about abuses in women in Iran led protests the across the country's 31 she made a provinces in her and sparked to months gender policy of grassroots support We talked for often about rights. it. I it is tried to only do the fitting same as Secretary that their of State. persistence and dedication she was is being honored in the name of my late friend, Madeleine Albright. I am honored Madeline to congratulate the women of Iran for human with rights, the for women's rights, honorary group award, and for gender equality Thank around you the world. For your bravery, compassion, she organized and resilience. Foreign you ministers, make all women, women proud. foreign ministers, to speak out about abuses in hidden corners of the globe. She made a difference in her commitment to gender policy. We talked often and, about and it. And I wish they could be I here to, to hear your Secretary applause. Of State. I'm proud she to was. present. The a Madeline K. Albright Honorary Group I am International Women to of congratulate the Women of Iran with the Madeline This inaugural Albright award Honorary goes award. to women and Thank girls in Iran bravery, who, in the wake of the brutal killing of Masa Amini, have proud. inspired us all. All Masa wanted was to live a normal and happy life. She dreamed of starting a family, 
after finishing her and, studies. And I wish they could be here to but these hear hopes your and dreams were crushed. I'm proud to they present were crushed by the, the Madeleine K. Albright Honorary so group, Morality International Boots. Women of Courage Award. The Iranian government probably this thought inaugural award goes this would to just be women another and girls in a wrong record in the wake of violence of and the brutal killing against of women. Masa Amini have inspired time, us all. This time it was all different. Masa wanted was to live a normal, led by and happy women, life. Took to the streets. She dreamed of starting a fan protest after finishing her studies. They followed in the footsteps of brave but these women hopes and dreams them, were sacrificed so much. They were crushed the by the freedom. tyranny of Iran's the neighborhoods so -called and classrooms, morality police. out of apartment buildings. The Iranian and government windows, probably thought the protesters this would chanted, just be another footnote in the long run and a record the world, of violence and discrimination a against women. Chorus, demanding time, gen gender equality time it was and human rights. The Iranian people led but for by all women the hope this took movement to the represents, streets, and we must protest. never forget how the Iranian they regime followed in the footsteps of brave women before they them. Tortured peaceful protesters. They have arrested equality, tens and of rights. thousands of people. They have but for badly all the hope injured this and killed movement represents in we bloody must crackdowns. never forget the how the Iranian regime continue has responded. To condemn the regime's they have tortured and violence. peaceful protesters. And we must back up our words with action. Tens of thousands That's why the United people. States led they a have successful badly injured and killed to remove Iranians Iran from the bloody UN crack commission on the, the international community women. must continue. And it's why to we are working the regime to hold those complicit and violence. in these abuses and we must back up our words with action. To all the women That's and why girls the United States led Iran, a successful know this. To remove we will Iran continue from the UN to stand with you on the status in your of women. fight for women, and it's why we are working and to hold freedom. those complicit so in these abuses So everyone, please join me in recognizing the courageous to all women the women and, and girls, girls across Iran. Iran. Know this: we will continue to stand with you in your fight for women, for life, and for freedom. So everyone, please join me in recognizing the courageous. Women and girls. Who has been an unwavering champion for vulnerable populations in Malaysia. In a car accident and a brutal assault, paralyzed some of the people, Lazi. I now have the honor of introducing another courageous woman to raise awareness who has been Malaysians an unwavering champion for vulnerable populations TV, in Parliament Malaysia. and at the Paralympics. In a car accident, they heard her commentary. Paralyzed they Senator Rasta Adiba, they Razi heard her fierce from the waist call down for she justice. Dedicated her life to in advocacy. May 2020, she to became Malaysia's representative across for people the country. With disabilities. Saw her on TV and later that year, she was appointed and at the Paralympics. The first they heard her commentary of the Malaysian heard National of Poetry Trees Agency. They heard Senator her Ross Adiba Razi for justice. In, bodies. She in May 2020, what it means she became to Malaysia's live a representative for people with others. disabilities. Please join me. And in later that year, she was appointed the, the first female chair of the Malaysian National News Agency. Senator Ross Adiba Razi in bodies. In bodies, what it means to live a life in service to others. Please join me in welcoming, welcoming her to the podium. Assalamu alaikum, or peace be upon you. I'm Senator Rasa Dibaradzi a representative of the 2023 International Women of Courage Award. Before I begin, I would like to thank the First Lady, Dr. Joe Biden, the Secretary of State, Assalamu and Peace and, and, and the U.S. Department you. of State I'm Senator for giving me Barazzi, the opportunity a representative to speak today of the 2023 International Women of Courage that I'm Award. Thoroughly Before impressed I begin, by the amazing work I would like to done thank by firstly, my fellow finalists Dr. in the respective countries. Joe Biden, Let's give them a big hand. State, Anthony Joe Biden and the U.S. Department of State for giving me the opportunity to speak today. Among others, 
I am joined thoroughly by women who are fighting against amazing gender work based violence done by for the right of indigenous persons in the respect and for the rule of law. Let's give them a big hand. Honourable guests, I was born with a body to indicate permanently terrorists from the waist down. Among others, I, I am joined by, cord injured by women who are fighting against gender based violence, a brutal for the rights of a indigenous person persons, and, and for the rule of law. When I Honorable fell guests, after climbing a I was born Since then, able bodied I have committed my life to fighting for the rights the waist down of persons with disabilities in my country, Malaysia. I became a spinal cord I injured person discrimination for a car and stigma as a person with disabilities, and then on a year later, my team and, and I finally in 2004, when I fell fought after climbing a ladder. Since then, I have committed my life to fighting for the rights I have of been persons working with disabilities to in my country, Malaysia. The importance of I witnessed discrimination and stigma as a person with disabilities job and then on. My team inclusive and I education, housing and upholding our rights among fought others and fought. I and my team then ladies founded and an association to empower persons with disabilities for to create awareness in May 2020, accessibility, the Malaysian infrastructure, His Majesty disability, King, inclusion, and Abdullah, job opportunities, appointed me inclusive as a education, senator, housing, and upholding our rights among Malaysia. others to represent persons with I and my team then founded an association in November to empower persons with disabilities called the OKU first Central. female chair of in the May Malaysian 2020, National News Agency, the Malaysian Bilama, King, after His Majesty the King of Al Sultan Abdullah, appointed me as guests. a senator in the, in the area of sustainable development. Malaysia, all of us here aim to create a world which is inclusive, in November 2020, and sustainable. I was appointed a in the first no one female chair is left of the Malaysian National News Agency to be made available for all years for a secure, of its stable, establishment and successful nation. Distinguished guests. Without the role in the area of sustainable of development, a nation all will of us not here be able to create to progress a world which is inclusive. Today. It is vital and sustainable for all parties a world in to which no one is left behind in and all areas be made available for all social, for a secure, politics, stable and, and successful nation. Women without the role is crucial and contribution as they of women, are a nation asset will not to be able to progress at its, so as it is let's today. Again, give it is a vital big round for applause all parties and actually I to respect like the more. contribution of women in all especially areas, the women here, economy, and to women social all across the world politics who have excelled. In their women's involvement and is crucial to it, as they are an important asset to a country. We are so at a pivotal again moment give for women's rights. Big round of applause. Us. And actually, I feel like hugging the more. International <laughs> women of courage, especially to women is here and to women all very, across very the world, much who have excelled in their roles for our and people contributed to it of our prosperous nation. Worldwide. This will be we an integral are part of spreading awareness for women's and rights. Celebrate the for activism us and receiving this international women, women of courage award. Honourable guests, is the op very, this very much is an honour significant for me to share my views and experience, in each especially of concerning the protection and social participation this will be of persons with disabilities. Spreading awareness in and we will celebrate the activism despite the native increasing awareness around persons with disabilities. Honourable guests, there is. No denial. The this opportunity is indeed an honour for me to share my views in this and polarised world, especially concerning the protection and social of participation of it persons with disabilities. Because in Malaysia, of a prevailing mindset, everyone here a today, stereotypical way of the looking increasing at the awareness around persons with what disabilities, the needs to there understand is no denial and to accept that this is that persons with disabilities in this polarised world exist to the detriment of, civil, of our cultural, disabled friends. Economic, it exists political because and social rights of a prevailing mindset in various a human rights instruments. Typical way of looking the at the disabled everyone. What the else. community needs to understand and to accept is that, that persons note, with and disabilities the Malaysian government is in the midst of amending the persons with disabilities act 2008 economic, to have an anti discrimination act for persons with disabilities in various human like rights United kingdoms the same as everyone else. And the Americans with Disability Act 1990, and as we speak, a -D -A. the Malaysian government is yes, in the midst of amending the raising persons awareness with disabilities of Disability Act human rights and the right to, to have an end of discrimination act for persons among with women, disabilities, children, like the United persons Kingdoms. with disabilities, is the fundamental aspect in which we must and continue Americans to work on with disability without Act such awareness. Or it is extremely difficult to bring about guests, justice and change. Raising awareness of the basic increasing human rights and the right to be of free of discrimination among women and instances of and persons with disabilities shows that is we the fundamental aspect in which to protect we the most vulnerable communities. communities. 
without Hence, such awareness, I it like is extremely difficult to bring about to justice on the one hundred and ninety crime government number of the day of hate in the world crimes to ensure remarks that the marginalized and, and vulnerable groups behavior women shows that we children, must act quickly in persons to protect the most vulnerable and left communities and rise to Hence, the clarion call I of the twenty like thirty sustainable, sustainable development, sustainable development on agenda on the one hundred no and ninety five governments no of the day in the world. Before I end my speech, that the marginalized like and vulnerable groups, the late women, Judith Human, children, a leader in the persons with disabilities, are not left out for and rise to the clarion call and has been of the 2030 of the Sustainable Development Agenda since leave the 70s. No one, we no one behind. will miss her terribly. Before I end my speech, but myself, I'd like to acknowledge and the late of us, Judith Human, I promise you, a leader in the disability community. To be advocating for persons with disabilities as she and has it, been the mother of the disability of inclusiveness movements and community the 70s of love we equity will miss justice. her terribly honorable guests but myself me standing and the here rest today, of us and I my promise standing you, wheelchair will continue means to be a, a whole voice. lot especially as she puts for my it, countrymen we are leaders of so inclusiveness like and community in Malay, of love sejuta doa equity and justice bintang which means honorable guests a million prayers me standing here today reach the in my standing wheelchair Terima kasih. Oh, thank means you. a whole lot for this honor especially and for my countrymen of Malaysia Salam so I'd like to say in Malay which means a million prayers has now reached the skies Terima kasih. and thank you for this honor and from the bottom of my heart. Please welcome Acting Ambassador at Large for Global Women's Issues at the U.S. Department of State, Pat Fedorov. What an honor it is to close out such a historic day. Please welcome Acting Ambassador at Large for Happy Global Women's Women's Issues day. at the U.S. Department of State, and to Pat Fedorov. We honor today. What an incredible ceremony. I must say I am rendered nearly speechless by the Senator's remarks. What an remarks. honor it is to close out such a historic and day, great, such a in historic the face event. of extreme adversity. Happy International and Women's Day to, to all those around the rights, world and to our amazing women of courage. A better we honor for today. Us what an incredible ceremony and energizing. I must say I am I rendered also nearly speechless by the Senator's remarks. Personal Your hero. resilience. Judy determination Human, and grit attended just this morning in the face of extreme was a adversity of the international and resolve to continue to fight for women's rights as I simply human rights refuse to, to achieve what a better I was future for us who I could be is both humbling and I was willing and to make a fuss about it. I couldn't also help but think of my Through dear your friends work, Senator, and, and the work hero, of all of our awardees Judy Human, whose Judy's funeral I attended just this morning rights and Judy was a leader of the international disability rights we'll live movement on. who said you I simply and all of refused our to accept what I was told about who I could be, for your and I was willing to make Judy a noted, fuss about it. To make a fuss about it, through your work, Senator, I'm and so the work of all of our awardees, today, Judy's legacy to join of defending the rights Jill Biden, and communities Secretary facing Blinken, discrimination and the other on. distinguished speakers who you joined us. You and all of our International Women of Courage awardees are truly inspirational for your courage, and as Judy noted. To make a fuss the about IWOC it. Award is truly a I'm so honored to be here at the White House today behind my office to join personally the Dr. Jill Biden's efforts, Secretary to Blinken, the rights and, and the other distinguished of women and girls who joined us to pay tribute to the and recipients of the Secretary of State 2023 and International Women of Courage Award. Today, our award the is IWOC Award a truly is truly a centerpiece more than and guiding force behind my office's work for more to than lead the Department of State's efforts to the promote the rights and, and empowerment of women and girls worldwide in recognition and it of is the exceptional stone of US foreign policy strength and, assistance. and leadership all of you today have our award is joining a truly incredible group of human rights and gender and gender equity and equality from more than 80 countries who have received the international women of courage award since 2000 i hope this award will elevate your and recognition and of the exceptional international attention to the issues that you are and leadership for. All of you have shown every day as my colleagues and I carry out our mission, justice, working human with rights, our partners to prevent and gender and equity and equality, to gender-based violence, often at advanced women's personal risk economic security and sacrifice, and promote the women, peace, and security. I hope this agenda. award will elevate your Across advocacy globe, work and bring we draw greater international attention to women's the issues that you are fighting for. Like the courageous women, every day as my colleagues and I carry out our mission today. 
working with and our also partners from their to prevent and respond to gender-based violence, family members, advance women's economic allies, security, civil society and promote the women, peace, and, and security agenda. We're also in this room today, globe. championing we gender draw equity inspiration from fearless women's not rights champions, words, like the courageous action. women who are today we are, on International are Women's Day. Today. The U.S. government and reaffirms also from their our commitment to the safety defenders, and full their family members. And girls, Government allies, at civil all levels, society leaders, and as foundational and journalists, peace, who are also in this room today, and championing gender equity and equality. Not I'd just in like words, to quote but in Secretary action. Albright. Who today said it on took International me a Women's Day, the U.S. government reaffirms our commitment to the it, safety and full participation of women and girls in decision making at all levels, and as foundational to peace, stability, and economic growth of all I'd also like to quote. Secretary Albright, to our 2023 who said it took me a long time to develop Thank a voice, you again for using and your now that voices, I have it, I am not being the to voice be for those who can't use theirs. Let us all commit to using our voices to amplify those facing oppression, crisis, and conflict in places like Iran, Ukraine, to our 2023 and Courage and Awards. Thank you again for using your voices and thank you for all and you have being done the voice to give women and girls everywhere a fighting chance. Let us all commit uh, we stand to using our voices and for to amplify those and facing thank oppression everyone here today, crisis, and joining in conflict us to celebrate in places like Iran, amazing and Ukraine, women, and Afghanistan, and, Afghanistan women and all over thank the world. You. Congratulations to our awardees and thank you for all you have done to give women and girls everywhere a fighting chance. We stand with you and for you. And thank you, everyone here today, joining us to celebrate these truly amazing Distinguished and guests, courageous women. Please Happy stay seated Women's while Day. the awardees thank depart the stage. Thank you. Distinguished guests, please stay seated while the awardees depart the stage. Thank you. The President of the United States. Yeah. 